Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last session we went out and explored the wilds outside. Uh, we got a lot of darkspawn blood, we got some uh, some books, some old notes and stuff that Duncan wanted and today we are going to be doing the initiation thingy. I was just wondering if this guy's inventory is updated at all. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies perhaps? Uh, what have you got? Let me know what you'd like. Uh, did you sell... You did sell some of this, but that's, like, expensive. I can't... I was like, has his inventory updated? But honestly, I can't really remember what it was beforehand. What have I got now? I've got 39 silver. That's not too bad. No accessories. Oh, he has got injury kits. Oh my god, wait, they cost 18... Is that 18 silver each, or is that 18 for all four? It's probably each, right? Hmm. Trap plans, eh. Another backpack? Did we... Did we... We bought the backpack that he had last time, right? Do I have any junk? Sell all junk? No. I guess he's got another backpack. So his inventory does update. Okay. So what do I want to sell? Uh, does it... Okay, next question is, does it show on here, like, if you're wearing something? I'm not seeing anything... Hang on, what am I actually wearing right now? Gotta learn this before uh, we go too much further. Um, oh, also, I have a second ring slot that I'm not using. Uh, so I've got the ring of study on, plus one magic, and I can add an iced band, plus ten cold resistance, or an iron band, which... Uh, Iron ring, rather, which does nothing. Ice span, then. Slot it in there. Lovely jubbly. We don't have any uh, arm thingies, do we? No. So I'm currently wearing studded leather helm, mage robes, and enchanter's footing. So if I go to talk to Is this guy... Is there something you need? Let me know what you'd like. Is it letting me sell those? No. It's not. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, we can probably just sell everything? I think that's fine. Uh... I never know. I, I, I'm always so bad at, like... Oh, but what if I what if I want to give this to someone later? But like, I'm sure we'll find other things. Uh, we'll sell the darkspawn longsword. We'll keep that because that's pretty good, I think. We'll keep a mace, maybe. We'll keep a bow. Uh, is that, that how was that compared to mine? It's just not as good, right? No. So I can sell those. Uh, I might need... The Iron Ring can go. I might need these if I come up against, uh, like, cold or fire. Just, I might need to swap to just, like, bigger resistance on that. I mean, it shouldn't... Nothing, nothing really bad should happen on normal, right? Okay, let's buy the backpack. Uh... Okay, that's probably good for now, right? That's probably good for now. And I think everyone else was kitted out with uh, armor and stuff as well, right? Kinda. I guess I could have given him a helmet. I think I had a helmet that I just sold.
I could give these guys accessories. Well, I don't even know if they're going to stay in my party is the issue. Because I was told, you know those guys from the mage, the mage thingy, Madu Hickey, mage intro, uh, that I gave some stuff to, uh, and then they left the party, pre pre presumably never to be seen again, and uh, the stuff that I gave them just gets lost, so I don't know. We'll see how this goes, I guess. So you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? Uh, we have. Good. I've had the circle mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Uh, maybe we should tell you about Morrigan and her mother. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had the scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. Uh, what if we have second thoughts? Let me be very clear on that point. You are not volunteers. Whether you were conscripted or recruited, you were chosen because you are needed. There is no turning back now. You must gather your courage for what comes next. I mean, courage? I could just leave. How much leave. danger are we in? <laughs> I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. That sounds ominous. <laughs> uh, you're saying this ritual can kill us? As could any darkspawn you might face in battle. You would not have been chosen, however, if I did not think you had a chance to survive. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. Okay, well, I've got a good feeling about this, guys. I reckon I'm probably not going to die. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it now. I mean, we could just, like, go, right? <laughs> we could just fuck off. But no, I mean, I want to I wanna join up, so calm down, mate. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. We don't know that, Daveth. Don't we? The Grey Wardens have saved the world from Darkspawn before. I'd say they know better than anyone what it takes. You saw those darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. Wait, drank the blood? Going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Yeesh. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Uh... Those who survive? Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Good luck, lad. That's a fucking chunky glass. What the fuck? Glass bigger than his head.
They should probably have all of them drink it at the same time. Sorry, oh shit, did he die? They really Step should have them all drink it at the same time so they don't see I that have happen. A wife, a child. Had I known. There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. There is no glory in this. Are you put you wait, you pulling your sword on this dude? This is gonna go so badly for you, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. I am sorry. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, Fucking hell. Uh, but the joining is not yet complete. It kills him because he doesn't want to do it? Submit yourself to That's rough. For the greater good. Oh well, down the hatch. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. <laughs> he says that like he knows I'm not going to die. Whoa. It is finished. Welcome. So. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? I don't know, man. I just watched you murder a dude because he didn't fancy drinking blood that he just watched someone else drink and die. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, not great. But yeah, they really, they absolutely should hand out three glasses and do a countdown and have them all drink at the same time. Because like that surely is not an uncommon response. If you are not first and you watch the person in front of you do the thing that you're about to do and it kills them, then I, surely that makes a lot of people go, you know what? Don't fancy it, actually. <laughs> so they, you'd think that they'd just be like, yeah, all at the same time. And then it's too late at that point. If you see someone else dying, you've already drunk it kind of thing. Because if Jory had gone first, then he would have done it. Or if they'd all gone together, he would have done it. But it, it, it was seeing it was seeing Daveth die that made him not. And then <laughs> Duncan's just like, ah, it's time for a spot of cheeky execution. Um, I can't believe you killed Sir Jory. Jory was warned that there was no turning back, as were you all. When he went for his blade, however, he left me no choice. It brought me no pleasure to end his life. The Blight demands sacrifices from us all. Thankfully, you stand here as proof. They are not all made in vain. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That was a big boy. That and many that other things can be explained boy. in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Ah, cool. I'll just uh, carry around the memory of watching those two get fucking Take killed. Some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. Oh yeah? What kind of meeting? The king is discussing strategy for the upcoming battle. I am not sure why he has requested your presence. The meeting is to the west, I'm down the sick, stairs. Yo. Please attend as soon as you're able. New quest after the joining. Oh, we got a cheeky level. Love to see it. Oh, nice. Four points. Okay, it actually increases. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Still no skill points. But wait, two spell points? I think, uh, yeah, I think you only get skill points once every, like, three levels or something. But you get spells more often, which is nice, I guess. But man, I really wish I'd put a skill into coercion. I thought it would be fine. I thought it would be like, oh, well, I'll get this now, and then next level I'll get coercion. I did not realize that you don't get a skill every time. Um, right, so... Well, I mean, it's, it's always going to be these three, right? Willpower, Magic, and Constitution. So, what do we want? What do we want? Let's get that up to 20. 24, 14. Sounds good, sounds good. Okay, so.
When do you get this? This is requires 28 magic. 25, 25, 27. Okay, so we do want to get into the mid 30s. What? Are, wait, what am I on now? I'm actually getting pretty close to that stuff, huh? I will I will keep what I was doing. Um I'm tempted to get this, but it's just this this has 50 upkeep and this has 40, so that's like half my total mana pool currently. Violent Quake that knocks everyone to the ground. Turn the target into stone. Probably will end up missing this tree, I think. A cone of frost would be very nice. Cone of cold. Because you could, you could do this and AoE everyone into freezing. And then you could do this and AoE them to death. Potentially. Does this... This just damages. Yeah, this one... Wait, it says inflicting fire damage on all targets for a short time. This one is just damage. This one, for a short time, it means there's a bit of damage over time going on with that. I think I'll get that. And then do I care about flaming weapons when I've already got that? I mean, I will probably want to get this stuff, right? I wonder whether fire or cold is better in general. Fire might just be better in general. What was this one again? Arcane Shield generates protective sheath that helps divert incoming attacks. 30 upkeep. Staff focus requires level 7. Specialized in direct attacks using a mage staff, gaining permanent bonus to damage from basic attacks. And level 10, permanent bonus to spell power. So I am going to want to get these. I am definitely going to want to get that. I'm only level 5 now, I think? Hmm. Let's get this. Let's do that. Oh, hey. My... I guess you just got a ton of XP for finishing that quest because my bar is already like half filled, half filled to the next level. That's kind of cool. Um, right. Was there anything else I wanted to do? Did we get any new uh, things to read? No, that's just controls. Okay, so my current quest after the joining. Join Duncan at the strategy meeting. The king wishes to meet you again. Cool. Cool. That is the plan. Have you got anything more to say? If the king wants to see you and Duncan, you probably shouldn't keep him waiting. He might get mad, start crying. Not <laughs> bad. Well, it won't. <laughs> I like Alistair. We can speak more after the meeting with the king. I. Can I uh, start the cutscene if I just? Yep, I can. Okay. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Caelan. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your fool notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a fool notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. 
How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was the one of three. Uh, we're going to suck up to him. I feel like this guy, he's got a bit of banter on him, but I feel like he probably doesn't take it well if people are, like, rude to him. So, thank you, Your Majesty. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honoured to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kaelin. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signalling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. Uh... You mean I won't be fighting in the battle? We need the beacon. Without it, Loghain's men won't know when to charge. You see? Glory for everyone. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? Oh, it was I... the Arch Demon we yes, saw in the vision, Your Majesty. huh? Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we Circle will of Mage. Not trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. Hmm. He didn't seem uh, <laughs> to believe what he you was saying Alistair there. You and will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Terran Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? Yeah, that does sound pretty dumb, to be honest. Like, <laughs> Grey Wardens are sick as fuck. Just have some random soldier go and light the torch, and the Grey Wardens can be in the battle, you know? Uh, the Tower of Ishal is the one that was off-limits just down the path, right? I think I went and chatted to the guard there earlier on. I agree with Alistair. We should be in the battle. That is not your choice. If King Kaelin wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn, exciting or no. I get it. I get it. Just so you know, if the king ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing the line. Darkspawn or no. <laughs> uh... I don't know, that could be a great distraction. Me shimmying down the Darkspawn line? Sure. We could kill them while they roll around laughing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. Uh, when do we light it? We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Uh, can we join the battle afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. I feel like we probably will be needed. What if the Archdemon appears? We soil our drawers, that's why. <laughs> then it we does, all die. Leave it to us. I want no heroics from either of you. I feel like an Archdemon is probably like an all-hands-on-deck situation, right? <laughs> I want no heroics, but don't you want two extra swords? Like, oh, well, not sword in my case, magic, but... Otherwise, I feel like an archdemon is probably just going to murder everyone. How much time do we have? The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. Are we in any danger? Of course. Even the best laid plans go awry. 
So do what you must. I trust you both. I'm in Just danger. Just not enough to actually fight with the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> there will be plenty of battles, Alistair. Be patient. I know what I have to do. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan. May the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. New quest, the Tower of Ishal. Let's just get to the tower. It may not be the most glamorous job, but we best not fall them. Okay, just the two of us. Just the two of us. Right, uh, so it's over this way. Oh, okay, straight to another cutscene. Get a load of that lightning. Good music. It's the really good music. Who's a good woofer? Yes, you are. This is hype. <laughs> this is cool. The plan will work, Your Majesty. Of course it will. The blight ends here. Copium. Huffing the copium. Uh oh. <laughs> that doesn't look great. <laughs> that looks worrying. Don't worry, guys. I think we're going to defeat the enemy after, like, a couple of missions. I'm sure it's going to go fine. Now's not the time to pussy out, mate. <laughs> Archers! This is a really cool cutscene. Good luck, best boys. Fuck them up. For Ferodan! Let's cross the bridge and get to the Tower of Ishal. Let's. That was such a sick cutscene. What the fuck? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That was really cool. That was really, really cool. Push them back. There. You got this, lads. There. I have faith in you. Oh my goodness. Shit's getting fucked. Do you have anything Let's you need to say? It may not be the most glamorous. Whoa. Uh, can you get up, mate? Thank you. Glorious! <laughs> it's, uh, it's some low frame rate fighting going on down there. <laughs> that was dope. I'm really into this game, man. This is this is really good. This is great. Help me. They're every you, your grey wardens, aren't you? The tower. It's been taken. Well, shit. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. Alrighty. Oh, hey. Random tower guards are now in our party. We love to we see We must it. get to the top of the tower. 
What do we do now? We go fuck them up. Right, so we couldn't get past this point before, right? They wouldn't let us in. Hello, lads! Uh, now, if you guys would like to run in first, that'd be... Oh, wait, these are... They're already fighting. Okay. Surprise. Oh, God. Hello. Yes. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. You got him? Oh, I didn't turn on the fucking... Oh shit, I'm, I'm very low on mana. Uh-oh. Uh, right. I am definitely needing to increase my mana pool, because I ran out of mana there. And obviously I can use my, uh, what's it called? Lyrium, is it? To replenish, but that's not just an infinite thing that I have, so got to be careful when I actually use it. I didn't feel like it was necessary to use then, because it wasn't like a big battle. Uh, right, so what I need to do now, I need to take this yes. off. Uh, and I think fire is probably better than ice for damage. I imagine ice, like, will slow them down or some shit. Uh, not that. That. So I want to assign this, and I'm going to swap out the ice one and make it a fire one. And then we're going to and I'm on. apply it to everyone's weapons here. Because I don't think it was applied to the new recruits, right? Because... They weren't in the party when I initially put that in. So I think they weren't having the cold there. Item received. Okie doke. Let's have a quick little, little quick once over. Make sure there's not anything hiding out around here. Doesn't seem like there is. Oh, no. Never mind. Wooden crate. I'll take me some boots. And some we studded leather armor. Now, what have, what have my people got? Do they want anything? Uh, you've got boots, you've got armor. Uh, boots and armor, yep. Boots and armor, yep. You know what? These guys are actually more kitted out than Alistair is. That's unfortunate. Oh, I can give him a helmet now. Lovely. Uh, I feel like Alistair's probably staying with us for a good bit. What's Runic Worry Token? Willpower and Mental Resistance. All right. Um... Let's give him a spirit charm, shall we? Why not, eh? Why not? Going to charge. And this is where we finish this mission and then he disappears from our party forever. Motherfucker. Uh, is there anything up here? No. Oh, we got more boys. I'd kind of like to just round them up and keep doing the AoEs. That's pretty good. The AoEs are pretty powerful. I definitely want to get the next... Are we still in combat? Oh, we are. That's some pretty cheeky range. Stop, motherfucker. Oh, it's an alpha. Hey, bud. Yes. Huh. Going. And I'm off. Huh. Wow, that really doesn't do much damage, huh? <laughs> My basic attack is uh, pretty terrible. Okay. Anything hiding around here? Yeah. 
Okay, so next time... Oh, man, it's, it's tough because I really want to... I want to pump the... What are the stats called again? Um... It's willpower and magic, right. So it's willpower that is how much mana I have available to spend, and it's magic that is strength of my spells, and it's also magic that determines whether I can get the higher tier stuff here. So, like, I really want this so that I can do two AoEs in a row, because currently I've got to wait for the cooldown on this one. That requires 25 magic. Oh, wait, I have 26 magic. Wait, so why is it redded out? Oh, my magic is being increased by something I'm wearing, is it? Uh, probably. Must be. Mage robes? Yeah, okay. So, it's... If your magic is being increased by something you're wearing, that doesn't count for buying stuff, because you could then take it off and not have enough, I guess. So, you have to have your base level magic. I wonder what my base level magic is, then. Is there a way of checking that? Uh... 24 plus 2. Okay, so I only need one more base magic, and then I can get the second AoE. So next time, I'll put one in magic, and then, like, three in willpower, maybe. Cool, he had five silver on him. I'm rich, boy. Fucking rich, mate. God damn it. Uh, what? if you swap to other people, do any of them have the ability to do it? No. Because it's a, it's a skill, right? It's like a, a lockpicking skill, so I wasn't sure if any of them would have that, but it appears not. Not yet. I'm sure we'll get someone that does at some point. It's not like you're just never going to be able to open chests ever kind of thing. Okay. Hello? Anyone home? More dark spawn, hey? Yeah. Shocking, that. Oh, I just saw... What was that? Genlock Emissary. Oh. Trap triggered, resisted. Why am I walking like a... Uh-oh. Down you go! <laughs> Walk faster! <laughs> I did it! I killed one! Damn it, just too far away. Okay, well, let's focus on this guy. Very nice, very smooth. Yes. And I'm off. Okay, one of our boys got a little beaten up, but overall, not too bad. Did I ever use the... I just realised, that, that dude in our previous party, he got that injury right, and I used the injury kit. Trying to hit... Did I? I can't remember. I think I failed. I think I used it on myself or something. But then we never had another fight, and then he got killed. <laughs> so, that was just a wasted in, uh, injury kit. Feels bad. Locked chest. Yeah. Can we open that? I guess so. Oh, hello. Surprise. Okay, done with you now. Oh god, they came in this side as well. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of them. Oh no, one of our boys died? Shit, I'm I'm really not seeing it happen. So are you injured now? Uh What's this thing that you've got? Not that. Uh that. 
item set bonus. Matching equipment is providing an item set bonus. Huh. What what is it? The splint mail? Uh, when equipped in a set with splint mail, armor, and boots, the character gains a bonus to armor. Nice. Wait. I have to level... Oh! I just noticed the level up button glowing on him. Huh. I had no idea that I also level up the other characters. Interesting. I guess that makes sense. I mean, that's what you do in... Mass Effect 2. I just didn't <laughs> didn't consider for whatever reason. I guess because people had been coming in and out of our party all the time and stuff. Um, right, so what is this? Uh, Templar. Plus two magic, plus three mental resistance. Mages who refuse the circle's control become apostates and live in fear of the Templar's powers, the ability to dispel and resist magic. As servants of the Chantry, the Templars have been the most effective means of controlling the spread and use of arcane powers for centuries. Right, so... You're a strength dude, right? Directly affects the character deals in physical... Damage character deals in physical combat. Accuracy of melee attacks. Dex is agility. Chance to hit. So you do actually want to... You still do want to be leveling up Dex. For chance to hit. Uh, willpower and magic not so much. Cunning and constitution. I guess you'd need some of that. Yeah, I'm just... I'm really not seeing... When people are fucking taking lots of damage in uh, in combat, which is unfortunate, because I should be I should be healing them if possible. Uh, should we just pump it all into strength for him? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's give him a constitution. Okay, we've got one of these to spend. He's got this: greater health and reduced fatigue penalty for wearing armor. Uh, increase enemy hostility, drawing them away from other allies. Should we get him that? Could give him that. He doesn't use dual weapons. He doesn't use bows. He does use weapon and shield. Let's give him that. Okay, cool. Uh, and then bro over here has got a broken bone. Penalty to dex. He's got 16 dex. Minus 3. Oof. Oof. Uh, so how do we... Did I ever figure out how I actually heal him? Was it this guy or was it this guy? It's, oh, I see. It shows on the right. It's this guy. Right. So then I go into uh, potions uh, and lesser injury kit. Okay. Right. So that's how you do it. You have to switch to the person. Okay. Okay. I really need to not let people die. I've got a... to... Well, to the best of my ability. Locked. Frozen lightning. Crystal that can naturally store electricity, which has made it sought after ingredient in the composition of several items and salves. Okay. Hokie dokie. Silver bracelet gift. A heavy silver bracelet inscribed with dwarven runes. Gifts can be sold to a merchant or given to a certain party member to influence their approval rating. Ooh, okay. First time hearing of that. They've got an approval rating of me. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well. Let's not piss people off then. Guess that's where they came from, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna take a wild guess. Uh, what's the map saying? So, through there's stairs to the second floor, so I guess... Go through here first? Oh wait, no, this is just... Oh, <laughs> this is just where we were. Durr. I Hello again. Did I just hear someone to my right? I did. There's a red dot on the stairs as well. Shit. Yes. 
Oh shit, my health! Oh my god! <laughs> I did not realize. Oh no. This is it! Oof. Oh my goodness, you take so much damage! <laughs> oh. I've just gotta I've gotta learn to keep an eye on the top left. I uh, can't open that. It just it all happens so quickly. Make us breath. What are these darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Uh, <laughs> weren't you complaining you wouldn't get to fight? <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Taron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Indeed. Go, go, gadget, go. Wooden crate. Was there anything hiding over in the corner over here? Nope. Chest we can't open. I sense some dark spawn. Oh. Oh no! Hang on, we can get a better angle on that. was a whole lot of people and we did actually pretty well that time I saw I saw there were so many people I was like oh my god <laughs> this just seemed like a insane amount so these ballista I could have just right okay okay I've gotta I'll, I'll keep an eye out then for stuff like that that can make uh make stuff easier discarded book the history of the chantry chapter one the first blight devastated the Tavinta Imperium not only had the Darkspawn ravaged the countryside, but Tavinta citizens had to face the fact that their own gods had turned against them. Dumat, the old god once known as the Dragon of Silence, had risen to silence the world. And despite the frenzied pleas for help, the other old gods did nothing. The people of the Imperium began to question their faith, murdering priests and burning temples to punish their gods for not returning to help. In those days, even after the devastation of the First Blight, the Imperium stretched across the known world. Fringed with barbarian tribes, the Imperium was well prepared for invasions and attacks from without. Fitting, then, that the story of its downfall begins from within. The people of the far northern and eastern reaches of the Imperium rose up against their powerful overlords in rebellion. The Tevinter Magisters summoned demons to put down these small rebellions, leaving corpses to burn as examples to all who would dare revolt. The Imperium began to tear itself apart from within, throngs of angry and disillusioned citizens doing what centuries of opposing armies could not. But the Magisters were confident in their power, and they could not imagine surviving a Blight only to be destroyed by their own subjects. Even after the Blight, Tevinter commanded an army larger than that of any other organised nation in Thedas, but that army was scattered and its morale dwindling. The ruin of Tevinter was such that the Alamari barbarians who had spread their clans and holds over the wilderness of the Ferelden Valley at the far southeast edge of the Imperium saw weakness in their enemy, and, after an age of oppression, embarked on a campaign not only to free their own lands, but to bring down mighty Tevinter as well. The leaders of that blessed campaign were the great barbarian warlord Matharath and his wife Andraste. Oh right, yeah, we read about this. Yeah, okay, interesting. Their dreams and ambitions would change the world forever. Yes, indeed they would. Uh, we also got a new creature thing, Genlock. Uh, emissaries, the most intelligent of the alphas became gifted sorcerers with many abilities akin to blood magic. These are the emissaries, and they usually only appear during a blight. Cool. Okay. Time to continue exploring. 
What have we got here? Lesser spirit balm. What's that? Increases resistance to spirit damage. Okay. Okay. Anything in here? Yep. Yeah. Health poultice. Warmth balm. Resistance to fire. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we got everything we could down that way. Let's, um, let's pop a save. Let's pop a save. I should definitely pop a save after every big fight. Because <laughs> the autosave, oh god, may not be doing it for us. I really want to get more than just two, but doesn't look like the others can play. Nice, very nice. Should have read the description for that one. I have no idea what fluoro spar is <laughs> that I just picked up. Oh well. I'm sure we'll find more. Third floor, let's go.